What up, though, man? It's your boy E Dot back with another one. So I've been getting some requests on how do I do my creative players specifically. Um, I believe my boy Josh reached out, wanted me to do a video on how I did my Devonte Graham. This is NBA 2K18 for PS3. Um, there is a link below that has the link to the rosters that I did for 2020. Also, right now I'm working on 2021 rosters with uh, you know all the rookies that's going to be in the draft. Um, I also have the Madden 2021 rosters available for uh, Madden 25 on PS3 only. So that'll be down below in the link too. So check that out. Uh, as for right now, we're going to get into how I do a creative player. So let me go ahead and load this roster. Uh, let's go ahead and get it going. Like I said, this roster is available for download. Um, pretty much the 2020 season. Everybody who's on the 2020 season is uh, included. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it, man. Add, uh, first off, what I'm gonna do is just go to my roster and I'm gonna show y'all the Devonte Graham I got. And what we'll do is we'll go in and um, you know make them from scratch, basically. So here's my Devonte Graham. I'm saying let's get it loaded up and bam there he is right there Devontae Graham yeah boy clean I'm saying so usually you know what I'm saying creating the players takes about I don't know anywhere from five to ten minutes but if you take your time with it you can get it down real packed so that's what we're about to go through real quick let's get into it I'm gonna go here to manage rosters I'm gonna go here to create Create a player. And all I do is basically pull up a picture, mainly, usually um, NBA.com and Google, and probably Wiki, uh, keeps up with their current, you know, photos that they use for like NBA.com. But I mean, you can pretty much just Google. A, you want to try to get a good picture of them, you know, especially looking, looking forward. If you can't get one with them without smiling, it's kind of better because then you can really get their features down pat. Um, I didn't put the apostrophe, but you get the, you know, you can do all that. I'm not going to go through the whole specifics of, you know, his college and all of that good stuff. You can put that in yourself. You know, of course, college, all of that. Uh, the year only lets you go up to 1998 because the game came out in 2017, which means cats had to be 19. So. 98 is the highest you can go, but you can still do the birth month, birth year. I'm sorry, birth month, birth day. Uh, you know, dominant hand, type of player they are, all that good stuff. That's the easy stuff. Here, you're going to do the vital. So let's start. Uh, Devontae Graham. First thing you want to start with is skin tone. Um, that's about right, right there, right? And these are the, you know what I'm saying? These are just straight the defaults that they give you from scratch. So we just work with it. Um, so we'll go to that skin tone right there, muscle tone normal, uh, eye color, yeah, brown. So the face types, right? These right here, basically, if you see how I'm changing it, it kind of, the only time you really need to change this is if you're dealing with like a, a older type player or something like that. I, I've noticed the fourth one is the main one you want to use for like younger cats, like rookies and stuff like that. You see how I got no wrinkles on his face? That's the main one you're going to be using unless somebody has like a, distinct face or distinct characteristics you want to use that one so I'm using that fourth uh, template right there head type there's three different head types this is the one that they usually start you off with which is like a big humongous head I don't know why they start you off with that one but the ones to the right and the ones to the left are pretty decent so I usually end up using this number one or number three number two you use on somebody like a I don't know um, you know, somebody who got like a huge head, like uh, Steven Adams, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you, you don't really need to use that middle one. All right, so we roll with this one right here. So we're not using no presets, man. We're doing this from scratch. That's what makes the cats look like, you know, the real players. So skip the head package, because you don't even, you, we gonna do all that. So the first thing you wanna do, you wanna scroll down here to hairstyle. We know Devontae, Devontae Graham got um, braids, right? So there's the braids, right? Little cornrows. So what we're gonna do is just make them a little bit longer. Let's get some length on the braids. 
Just make them look a little better, about right there. So that's smooth right there, right? All right, so now let's move down. We also noticed Devontae Graham, when, and this, you know what I'm saying, we got the picture up um, so we can compare, you know, keep it going, keep looking at it and have something to compare to. So, um, like, like I said, I got this picture from Google, so um, it's what we're using. He don't have like a beard per se, right? So we want to use it, we want to go to a goatee. You got like some little peach fuzz down there or something like that. So let's play around with the, actually that one right there might work, I think, or, or this one, <laughs> but I kind of like the other one better. Let's use this one. Nah, my bad, let's use that one, All right? It kind of got the little fuzz, got the little under the lip stuff, and got the mustache, that works, that's all we need. All right, now we're gonna jump down to the eyebrow, and I'm looking at the picture right now, so. Um, let's see, eyebrows, his eyebrows kind of got like a high arch or something, like they're sitting up top a little bit. So you can either roll with these, or, oh, there was another one, ain't it? These or the thicker ones, which we can we can roll with these right here, right? So now that you got your eyebrows, your face, facial hair color, your eye color, now we can get into the nitty gritty, which is customized head. And pretty much on this screen, you're gonna just go top to bottom. Actually, there's a, there's a little spot that I like to switch up on, but we'll get to it. So the first thing we're doing, like I said, we're not using no presets. Presets is gonna mess up what you're trying to do and the progress that you've already made. So every time you go to these, you wanna to go to customize. So the first one we got is the uh, brows. So this basically, if you notice, I do the left and right analog. That makes your brow come in and out. Most Typically, most people you can bring out a little bit, but it don't have to be nothing drastic unless they got like a real caveman features or something like that. So we'll do it like that. But what we need to do is bring, bring the eyebrows up, right? just to give him the, the same look that he got in the picture. So I'm gonna bring them eyebrows up to right there, about right there. And you notice it drifted on me, so I need to bring it back about to right there, right? Use your, use your left and right um, triggers to rotate your player so you can see what's going on. Actually, I'm gonna bring it about to right there, yeah. So that's cool. Now the bottom one, the right analog slope, that, if you better get it right here, that, just puts that slope on that forehead. Most people ain't got that. Just keep it where it is. By default, it's all the way to the left. All right, so let's move on to the next one. Hit R1. Neck, you don't usually have to do anything with this. Most people got a standard neck unless you got somebody with a bulldog, you know what I'm saying, one of those bulldog necks. But, you know what I'm saying, pretty much neck is, is pretty straightforward. Now this part here, if you got somebody with one of those double chins or something, you can do that there. But typically, you, you won't have to do that. You'll leave the left analog at the bottom. And then if you scroll left and right, you can do the width of the net. We'll just do a normal net, right? About right there. That's cool. All right. So then we go to the next one. Chin. Devontae Graham got like a pretty rounded chin. It's not like square. So if I go left, you see how it's squared out? If you go right, it smooths it out. If you go up, it makes it longer. If you go down, it makes it smaller. So let's keep it in the middle. Let's just smooth it out a little bit. It's got like a little bit of curvature to it. You know what I'm saying? So we'll do that. All right. Protrusion. I mean, you don't really have to mess with that unless somebody got like a protruded or a chin that like sticks in or something weird like that. But you straight. Just leave it in the middle. All right, bam. Next thing we're going to do is the jaw. So the jaw, if you take the left analog stick, you go up with it. You notice how the jawline moves down. If I go down with it, the jawline moves up. You can kind of just play around with this. So for Devontae Graham, also left and right makes your jaw jawline thicker or thinner. So let's go back in the middle, about right here. Because everything on, on Devontae Graham's face is kind of, you know, pretty much chiseled and not nothing sticking out too far. So we'll do it like this. Boom. You know what I'm saying? That's smooth. We could actually go back to the chin. We can make the chin a little bit longer if we wanted to. Round it off a little bit more. That's cool. All right, the last one on here is uh, your cheeks and your jaw fullness. Jaw fullness, you notice how it makes it like puffy jaws or something like that? 
So we don't have to worry about that right now. We can keep that where it was. But the cheeks, he does have like a some high cheekbones, kind of. So I'll flare those all the way out to the right using the left analog stick and bring them up a little bit about right there. All right, that's straight. Uh, this last one, definition, it really doesn't make much of a difference. It kind of makes them, like if they had a super chisel face, it kind of gives it more definition, but you can, you can pretty much leave that how it is. So let's hit X, we out of there now. What I typically like to do next, you know, going down the list, mouth comes first, but what I like to do is I like to do the nose next because the nose, what happens is when, when you set your nose, then you can kind of know where you need to place your mouth and the eyes at. So let's get into the nose. Right now, uh, just looking at the picture, Devontae got a pretty standard nose. Um, it's not down, it's actually not down that far. So we can bring his nose up. You see how I'm bringing it up? And we can make it a little bit wider. Don't You don't want to make it too wide because you, you, you get to make the nostrils wide when you get to the nostril section. So don't go overboard with it. So we'll do it about right there. Now protrusion, um, I'm gonna say this for a lot of the cats that I create, a lot of the, you know, the black dudes, you don't need to have their nose protruding out that far. So you can bring it in. For a, a lot of the uh, Caucasian cats, um, you might have to bring it out. But for the most part, normal, inside, that's cool. So let's go to the next part, the bone definition. So this right here, if I go left analog stick up and down, that gives that, you see the bridge, it makes it indent or stick out. Most people have that little indent right there. If you go left and right, that's that nose bone, which most times you just want to leave that how it is. So we're going to go, you know, we're going to keep it like that. And then the width basically just flares out the nose a little bit more on the bone. And for most of the, um, most of the cats who have like wider noses, you want to do this. So take your width all the way to the right. Boom. Next one is the tip. So the tip, if we go left and right, you see how the tip of the nose gets wider or smaller? All right, we want to keep that how it was, probably somewhere around here. It looked like Devontae's, uh, where his nose is. Now, up and down is how you want the tip pointed. So let's go about right there. All right, that kind of looked similar to what we got. Yeah, something about like that. Uh, now the lower half, the art the, using the right, this is the bend. If somebody has like a curved nose, like Owen Wilson or something, you know what I'm saying? You could do it there, but we don't need to do nothing. And then you can do, you can add more to the tip uh, by going up and down with the right arrow. So we'll keep it kind of in the middle there. That's cool. Finally, the nostrils, what you want to do is just try to emulate it. Like I said before, this is the part where you kind of make the nose a little wider using the nostrils. And then we can bring the uh, nostrils down just a little bit, about right here. Nothing too major. We can actually bring that tip down just a little bit and then play around with the nostrils. Just You don't want to go down too far, or up too far. You can, you know, give them a curve like the, um, who's that got a nose like that? I think John Morant got a nose like that. But you kind of get the picture. You know, do that. Boom. That's straight right there. I'm gonna actually bring that tip up just a little bit. Bam, that should be straight right there. I don't see, ain't nothing wrong with that. So cool, we'll roll with that, exit out. Now we can go to the mouth. Now we got our nose set, we can customize the mouth now. So let's go ahead. What I like to do here first is go to the last one, number four, curvature. So depending on the picture, if a cat's smiling, I'll take it to the left, you know, a little bit. If they're not smiling, I'll take it down. Most of the time, I'll just leave it straight face. You know, that's why I said try to get a picture that they're not really necessarily smiling on. It kind of make it easier for you. All right, then we're gonna go here to mouth size. So now we can take the mouth and we can locate it, right? Somewhere up in this area is cool. And we can make the width of the mouth smaller or larger. I probably, you know, just looking at the picture, it's a normal size. So we'll do that, boom. So that's normal size. Now, we can go over here to the upper lip. If we go up, it's got, he's got a little bit of curvature in his lip and a little bit of thickness to it, so we'll do that. Right quick, that should be straight. Go to the lower lip. 
I mean, you get the picture, man. It's just playing with it. You know what I'm saying? That's straight right there. Boom. All right, so we're done with that. Now let's move on to the ears. So he's got like kind of these pointy little ears. So if you go left, left analog up and down, makes them smaller, larger, right? And then if you do tilt, it makes them stick out more. So we want these, right? You see how it got the stick out? And probably want them about there and then boom. Stick them out just a little bit. And boom. So you see how it's coming along? We almost there. Really the last thing is the eyes. So what we're gonna do here is boom. What I like to do with the eyes is placement first, right? So page two. Up and down basically gives you the placement of where the eyes should be. His eyes are about normal, so we wanna you know, keep them somewhere up in this area. Also left to right, you can make the eyeballs bigger or smaller. I like to use the smaller eyes. It typically comes out better. Um, on the R analog, you see how you can go up and down with it? That's for to put the, you know what I'm saying, kind of the tilt on the eyes. There's not too much tilt that he got going on, so we'll just, we'll just do a little bit right there. All right, so now let's go back to page one, which is the spacing. So his eyes are kind of a little bit further apart, so let's do that by hitting the left analog stick, you see? So now we got them kind of further apart a little bit. Now the right analog stick kind of, you see how it curves it one way, curves it another way? You just, at this point right now, what you're doing is you're just playing with it, just trying to get something that you really like. So right there is, you know what I'm saying, eyes ain't all the way open, they ain't all the way closed. They space pretty far, about the distance we want them to be. You know what I mean? That looked pretty cool. Then we can go back to page two and we can tilt them a little bit or tilt them this way. And then we can play with the placement a little bit. So that right there actually looked pretty straight. Um, let's space them out just a little bit. All right? I mean, that, that's, that's about it right there. So there you have it. Then you go through, go to your uh, tattoos, gear, headband, put the headband on him. You know what I'm saying? And boom, there he is, Devontae Graham, right there. And what? It might have took me more than 10 minutes, but that's because I'm talking. But you get the drift, you know what I'm saying? You can you can go through and do what you need to do. Put that gear on him, then you got the player right there. You know what I'm saying? Real easy peasy, bro. So that's just how you do it right there. Um, so let me go back in here and just show y'all a couple of cats that I'm working on. Like I said, we're working on, uh, I got all of the new rookies coming out. Here's uh, LaMelo. Um, I'm still working my way through them, but um, most of these cats in here. Let's take a look at him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> LaMelo ball right there. Yeah. All right, and let's do like a couple more. See, we got Wiseman in here, uh, Obi Toppin. See what Obi Toppin looking like. He was kind of easy to do, man. A lot of these cats, if you follow those, you know what I'm saying, the, the uh, little, little instructions I just gave you, you'll kind of be spot on. Look at that. Obi Toppin right there, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All it takes is a couple a couple, couple minutes per cat. Uh, who was that? Avdija. Uh, Denny. You know what I'm saying? He put he he projected to go high. Let's take a look at him. I had fun doing this one because it was kind of a little different. But hey, look at that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I said, man, play around with it. Have fun with it. Let's do one more. A cold roll. I just did him the other night. Um. So he came out pretty smooth. Let's check him out. Bam. Had to, had, I wish they had the dreads in the front, but they didn't. But, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of there. You know what I'm saying? Coro, man. Young kid out of Auburn. So, yeah. 
go ahead and get after it. But yeah, man, look for the, like I said, check the links below. Check out the rosters. Appreciate the support. Appreciate the love. Hope this helped y'all. Try to get understanding of how to do more of the creative players and just have fun with it. Once again, it's your boy E-Dot. I'm out. Y'all be easy. Peace.